Okay, guys, this is how you got, get good at Geometry Dash. So you start, and you, you just go straight to Jumper and defeat that, because through getting... You, sh you should defeat this if you spend enough time. Really, regardless how good at you are at this game, if you practice this, so you should be able to do it. You'd have to actively try. You'd have... You literally try in some form or another to not do it, to not beat it in any way. If you try to do it, like if you actually try to beat it, then you should be able to beat it. <laughs> you know, I was actually intentionally trying to make a joke out of this, but I just actually gave you good advice. You can you can go back and defeat all these later. Actually, don't do can't let go yet. <laughs> that, that's pretty hard. Also, don't do time machine. You're gonna want to do X step next. Go back and do. Whoo! Can't let go. Then cycles. S screw this level forever. <laughs> Theory of everything. Then electroman adventures. Then do clutter funk. Then do time machine. And do Electrodynamics, then Hexagon Force, then Blast Processing. Well, actually, you can do Blast Processing, then Hexagon Force, then Electrodynamics. Then Geometrical Dominator, and then Finger Dash. I mean, you can do them in a different order if you want, but that's what I find easiest to find your way to work up without actually just doing it from easiest to hardest. It's the best at keeping you improving constantly. And then you're going to want to get 10 coins, 10 secret coins, and defeat close step. Once you've done that, you want to go and do theory of everything too. Now, deadlocked, leave it alone for... Until you're ready for a hard demon, just don't come to it. It's a medium demon, yes, but basically don't come to it until you at least gosh, until you've at least done every other level with all three secret coins. Every other level. Now, next you want to just do a buttload of feature levels designed for like ever. <laughs> I mean, it's actually efficient at getting you used to the mechanics. You're going to want to do this until you're pretty, until you can pretty much do a lot of levels with ease here. Like, at least be able to defeat a couple five-star levels con consistently like, without practice. Once you're there, you want to start doing some, basically, look up top 10 easiest demons, like, look up a bunch of them and try to find as many of them as possible to look like you could do them. Progressively get better, right? So you'll see harder ones and then eventually be able to look at them and be like, hey, that's not that bad. And so you'll eventually improve, and after about... Well, I'd say 20 demons. I, I'd say it's enough. It's about time to move on to medium demons. You want to do quite a couple medium demons, actually. I recommend until 40 demons, actually, to do medium demons as well. And f at least until 80 demons, do hard demons. Then you could attempt insane demons. But, don't try them. I mean, you go on to very hard demons, like, supersonic. Like, much earlier, like, when you're still working on medium demons. Because, really, it's not that bad. It's just, it will take a lot longer than other demons. But, it's... Still not that bad. It's not like bloodbath level hard or anything. 
Heck, I'd argue a lot of levels are easier that are insane demons. <laughs> Suppose. Well, no, I'd argue. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'd argue that a lot of hard demons are harder than supersonic. Just like regular hard demons. Yeah, and you just want to do these sorts of levels for a while until you can do them in about 10 attempts each. Now, if you take any more on just like a random occasion, that's okay. There are some that are a bit hard compared to others. Like, one is actually decently challenging. If you can do them in under 20 attempts, though, each, you're pretty ready to move on to easy demons. And by easy demons, I mean, like, I mean, like, stuff like Toxin Lab 2. <laughs> like, if you can do Toxin Lab 2 it for you, like, that is something... You're going to want to do, I mean, as soon as you pretty much practice a couple, like, twice, it will become, like, almost nothing to you. And if you're still struggling with it, then I don't know what's going on with you then. Oh, I thought those were two coins right next to each other. I'm assuming already in my brain that those are just, like, two mini coins to unlock a full coin. So if three coins were right there, that would be coincidental, coincidental, or at least no, not coincidental, but convenient. I'm I'm dumb. I'm just some eleven-year-old who uploads satirical um geometry dash videos, and I'm slowly turning into a geometry dash news channel. Send help! Send help! I'm literally. I'm I'm literally just becoming more of a news channel because of freaking Pyrocynical. I've watched a freaking thousand of his videos. And he doesn't even have a thousand. Lol, I don't think. If he does, then rip. I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> I've watched at least a, a hundred of his videos. And he has, like, what? 300, 400 videos, that's a, that's a percentage of it. Fudge. Gosh, damn it. Having a good time, having a good time. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. One on the whole, okay. So yeah, yeah. Um, from here, after you do this kind of stuff, or oh, oh, like I said, you, you can move on to insane demons. But from there, you can move on to extreme demons after about at least a hundred forty demons. I guess you can move on to an extreme demon. Now. EM Games' way of improving was so fast, and it's not gonna happen that quick. You cannot just jump straight up in, dif in difficulty of demons. You cannot just do, like, two or three and move on to the next difficulty demon. And you sh could not, you definitely could not... move from demons like, say, Toxin Lab 2 to I don't know, freaking Samurai in like just a couple demons. Samurai, don't get me wrong, it's not like it's I'm saying it's hard. 
Like, it, it is, but not like the kind of hard a lot of people would think of, like, supersonic kind of hard, or even bloodbath kind of hard. But it it's a lot harder compared to Toxin Lab 2, in my opinion. Heck, it's harder than freaking Dish Machine to me. No color- I don't- I want color, though. Actually, no, I think it's cooler design. This way. I like this design. Oh, yes, beautiful. I wish I knew how to design levels like this. I mean, I can create, like, thousands of times better, more lively gameplay. I can definitely creatively gameplay. It's just, I can't design levels like this. If I could design a level like this, or if this guy, like, hooked me up and he built my level. Uh, sorry, Twinkie Toes. I would, I, I would, I would switch him out. I mean, it's kind of understandable you would probably do that the same if you had someone who made like if you had someone like um whoever fox trucks recommend game making gameplay and design and just letting you verify it you you would do it you would do it it's like they're very good at what they do like Fox Trucks, I I will praise I will praise Fox Trucks a lot. Okay guys. That's just a thing. I really love Dish Machine and Fox Trucks. And I don't really have a problem with Supersonic. My um Twinko seems to think it's not that fun. And I can see where he's coming from, but kinda of the thing that's ruining it is like how many attacks and put into it it it's not it's not amazing gameplay so it's putting that much time just wins it that much more like if it were to level like fox trucks it would become like doing supersonic your first time and looking at the gameplay kind of thing at that many attempts but with supersonic meh kind of gameplay and putting that many attempts into it, especially at this kind of skill level, which I'm much further behind than how I'm targeting you to. I mean, I'm going in that direction currently. I mean, I am doing a little further jumping. I Well, not really. I am said supersonic, and I'm going on to that kind of stuff. I'm also doing um, unarmed, so that's an insane demon. And I'll be doing that for my 70th demon, so, yeah. But I'm just gonna talk about this level now, I guess. This level is, well, again, until I defeat it. This level is, huh? Nice. It's, it's freaking nice. I'm just gonna do, like, three levels uh, per recording in the background that are, like, on the featured list. And I'm just gonna do these all. I'm gonna make a full separate video on vanilla. Like, I have so many levels on just my list of fun gameplay levels that I want to finish. So, yeah. So, straight fly- well, you don't even need to straight fly. I just like straight flying somewhat. I'm not good at straight flying, but I'm good at- I'm better at straightening myself out for straight flying and I, I actually straight flying it's it's coincidental i'm not my brain is not built to keep a steady pace not i it, i'm not used to steady paces okay i i play kirby games in my childhood i was not used to look and i was and I'm still 11. I'm not, like, my brain is not just picking up patterns instantly and going, like, do this every time you see this color or shape. Which is kind of how adults react. It's not just, like, specific in their brain. They just 
sort of see a shape, and they're just sort of like, and they sort of just recognize it as that. Oh wow, I picked up low detail mode. Regardless how smart you are, your your brain consciously recognizes it as that. Unless it's a very easy level, in which case it just may look at the icon and just barely focus on anything else. This does have a couple really hard timings, though. I'm literally doing this in complete dark. Nice. Uh, yeah, screw that. Yeah, yeah. Finish <laughs> this with off of this level. I'm intentionally not installing these because I have horrible storage on this device. Ah, uh, it's the Serpunge level that was like recorded. I saw a video that Serpunge made. Like, effect levels are back in the tags, and it's like, oh, gosh. It's a short, rather. Well, feels short. It's really not compared to other levels. It's pretty average for feature levels. Aha. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm so good. <laughs> First try! Two silver coins! Oh, yes, the best name <laughs> for a daily level. So, is, I mean, this video is 18 minutes long so far. Okay, then, I can accept that. Really, 3,000 diamonds, boy. Gosh, I'm actually decently close to so many icons. I'm slowly working my way up to 600 user coins. And I'm definitely going to go... Yeah, I unlocked this, and I was like, whoa, I love it. <laughs> and then I unlocked this, like, pretty close after, and I'm like, no way. I just unlocked the best icon in the friggin' game. In my opinion, at least, it w is. I don't like that. It doesn't match up with that. You know, or I could go for this again. I could do that, though. 
I'm always using that ball regardless. Eat then. Should I do this, 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 or this? Like, I can't decide. I'm, I, I usually go with this. Same time, I love that icon, and I know I love this. And this is, it's, a, it's good. So is this. Pretty cool. But these two especially, I have come to love. But I can't decide between the two. Actually, how many levels did I do today? I've got a lot of levels here I'm practicing. Let's just scroll through these. Yeah, a lot of these normal levels, though, here are, like, just like, map pack levels. Yeah, I, I will do Dance Massacre. I will we'll try. Eventually, I'll get it and I'll finish it. Because <laughs> it's not really that bad. I mean, by not that bad, I mean it's not, like, as bad as... <laughs> well, a lot of people don't see it as hard. I, I see it as hard, but not too hard. There are the people who see it as, like, very easy and just fun rather than hard. And there are people who see it as, like, super hard. But then there's the, like, 3% that are me who don't who know it's hard and they find it decently hard but it's not they don't find it too hard it's not like it's a oh i can't do this like every freaking demon for noobs I mean, if you're if you're bad at the game, yeah, you're gonna get good. Really, this game takes more time than it does actual skill. Because skill skill is not something that's just based on how good you are in games like it in general that have a big factor. It's about how good quick you are to learn. And well, you do have to have good thumbs or fingers. Like, if you have terrible fingers that can click, like, once every two seconds, then you're not gonna do anything hard in this game. At the same time, you can have as fast clicks as you want if you can't do it stable, or if you understand an actual level, then you're not gonna get anywhere. I'm good at understanding levels, I just, I, I can understand levels, I just, 
my brain like my brain can understand levels it just can't fully memorize them like 100 percent through and also there are those couple of levels where it's literally just the timing and getting it getting my muscle memory a little off is what screws me over in those kinds of levels Of course, you go in a death loop because you keep this freaking part. I like this level plot, but it does have some quite hard, some hard gameplay. You know, I just realized, like, a lot of my deaths were just at, like, this past 20%.